Mm -hmm. Welcome to Ultimate Skin Care and Beauty Report. I'm Mary Wink and Werder. Beginning a life together takes much patience and preparation. Patience in making the right decisions that will result in the best preparations is part of the joy in this process. One crucial element is choosing appropriate and stylish jewelry for your celebration. Joining us this episode is Hal Rubenstein of Gabriel & Company to tell us more about their popular bridal jewelry collection. Hal, welcome to Ultimate Skin Care and Beauty Report. Hi. Good to see you. It's great to have you join us. So what inspired Gabriel & Company to create their line called Perfect Match. I think really is just all you have to do is go to a jewelry store when they look, watch a couple trying to buy an engagement ring and you you see the the furious look for options, for changes, for for just the, everybody, will put it this way, there are a certain number of rings available but everybody wants something special. Why shouldn't they? They deserve something special. They deserve something unique. Okay? Every bride wants to be the only bride. That's really what your whole day is about. And Perfect Match came up, the idea of be, being able to create, with the options that we have, a ring that's really just for you. Wow, that sounds amazing. So how is your bridal collection unique from others that are, that are on the market? I mean, several reasons. I mean, besides the, besides the incredible workmanship and the craftsmanship, the fact that we make everything from scratch, Wow. But it's also, like I said, it's the options. Like you, you talk about this perfect match. There are 49 settings to choose from. There are 12. There are 12 stones to choose from. There are five, just five or six different size of stones to choose from. And then after that, you can decide whether to have it in rose gold, yellow gold, white gold, or platinum. Think about the potential. What you call the factorial. Mm -hmm. There are thousands of combinations which means nobody will have a, the likelihood is you will never meet anybody who has an engagement ring that is exactly like yours. Wow, that's incredible. So this in turn empowers brides to personalize their engagement rings. Well, I think it's also too, I think what I like about it too, it's not just the bride, but I think it's something that the, that the two of you, that, you know, that, that the couple gets to work, gets to do together, where you can personalize it. And basically, I think it's important, you know, it's different when a guy gets on his knee and here's the ring and please marry me and we're done. But in this case, it's usually something where a couple decides. And this way, both of them have an input. It, it becomes maybe, maybe it's the first project that they ever get to do together as a couple. And that makes the ring even more special. Sure, sure it does. So let's introduce some of the pieces in the bridal collection. And if you'll go through them and um, introduce them by name, we'd love to see them. Well, do you want me to show you how the perfect match works? Absolutely. Okay, perfect example. Okay, can you see this? These are potential. Yeah. Okay, these are the potential settings. There's a cross one here, there over there, here. Okay. Yeah. Crisscross. There's a banded one here. I'll just give you three. Sure. And then if you look here, you see that no, there's no there's oh, there are no stones there. Bit. There we go. Yeah, there's go ahead and lift no it up just a little bit. Now watch. Let's say we take a stone. Here's the stone. There. Are let me see if you guys can see that. You see that? Yep. That's it. I can't hear you. It's it's called it's called the halo. Okay. okay. It's a stone with the halo. Okay. And we put that onto the band. Oh wow. Now look how simple and easy that one is. Okay. But you take the exact same stone and put it over the crisscross. And it becomes a different ring. Now take sure the same enough. stone, take the same stone here, and it becomes yet another ring. Wow! And you can keep on doing this till you find exactly what you want. Now I happen to love these two together, and so what happens is you make this choice. You pick the metal that you want, whether white gold, like I said, white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, or platinum, and then the finished product looks like that. Oh wow! That's and this becomes—it's a person basically, without basically having a jeweler for a dad. This is about as personal as you're ever going to get for making a stone. Wow, that's that's really impressive. I've never I've never seen any you know a system like yours. This is great. So this is so this amazing is too. Is that if you go onto the website, if you go onto Gabriel, if you go onto Gabriel and why? 
you can act, you and you go to the, you go to the weddings area and you go to perfect match you can actually play with all of these settings and all of these stones in advance of going to the jeweler to see how this actually works and it becomes it's like a great puzzle that you can play with and honestly none of them don't work it just becomes what finally gives you that sort of awe moment when you get to that awe moment you realize that's yours wow that's absolutely beautiful. So what kind of gay Burl and company jewelry could brides pair with their engagement rings on their wedding day? Well, I think I mean, the, the important thing is, you know, the ring is the ring. And, you know, it's in your hand. Remember, the, the odd thing is, is that actually when you walk down the aisle, you're not like, no one's likely to see the ring because basically your hands are holding a bouquet. So it would be nice if something else sparkled around you. Sure. So for me, depending, most brides tend to wear strapless dresses. So I think it's the perfect. I like if you're going to wear a necklace and a strapless dress. I don't like when it's a when it's it's a it's a big heavy necklace and a strapless dress. I think it's something that should be very simple, or basically just have one piece. Do we have any particular ones? Give me like an Amavita piece. I'm going to get you a piece to show you. But sure. basically, I think it's you know it's a consistency. It is all about diamonds for the day. It's definitely about diamonds for the day. I think the the idea is that the dress, your dress should, well, put it this way, you should be the star always. The bride is always the star of a wedding. Sorry, mothers-in-law, that's how it works. There's only one star at a wedding, and it's the bride. Okay? Uh, mothers-in-laws are watching. I, or our mother's watching. You're going to have to just sort of suck it up. But <laughs> And then uh, it's all about her. And the groom knows this. The groom doesn't care as much. <laughs> The, the other, no, the good thing has to wear a tux. Whatever you do, though, touch those. Do not rent a tuxedo. Do not no, buy a tuxedo. Buy, men should buy tuxedos on their wedding day. If you wear a tuxedo three times in your life, it pays for itself. Okay? Think about it. She's going to spend X amount of dollars. God knows what. Several thousand. You spend seven thousand, several thousand dollars in a ring. She's, you're going to be wearing X amount of dollars in your wedding. And so what is the groom, what is the other guy going to do? Basically, he's going to rent something that's been spilled on, stained on, and spit on, and hugged on, and sweated through by 45 other people before you show up. Well, that's that doesn't sound exactly <laughs> special, does it? No. Grooms, come on. Let's, let's do it. This, to me, is a perfect example of, of something glorious for a bride to wear. Oh, no, that is glorious. That is absolutely, what's, what is that piece called? But it's from the Amavita collection, and it's with rose, with rose gold and white gold. And the idea of just of having these beautiful, delicate scones against your skin, so basically it almost becomes part of you. I'll show you another similar piece. Was that a diamond-clad piece? Yeah, they're all diamonds. Yes. Okay. No, bridal. But the wedding day is for diamonds. Sure. Diamonds are for weddings. They just belong there. Now that's really beautiful. What, what is that piece called? That, but it, it doesn't have a separate name, but this is also from the Amavita collection, which you can see when you go on Gabriel and Wine. It kind of reminds me of a passionate flame. Yes, it does. It really does. And it has, it has a, they're sort of, they both have a very sort of exotic look to them. Thank you know, you. a little bit And then I'll show you two great earrings that I think are for something a little bit more traditional, but nevertheless, it's but a little bit more exciting than a, than a classic hoop. Sure. Because there's a great air of romance to it. And what I love about all Gabriel, I, this is not a bridal thing, this is just a standard. All Gabriel and Company earrings have something incredibly unique. And I have very large fingers, so it's not as easy to see. But it's something that's exclusive only to Gabriel. You will never lose this earring at a wedding or any other day after that because this doesn't have backs. It literally screws really? on. It literally well. screws on. You will oh never use another hearing ever again. And that Gabriel is really smart. And Gabriel is the only jeweler that has this. Wow, that that's very impressive. That is very and impressive. The, and for the other, for the other, for the bride with a slightly edgier feel to it, I would do something sort of freeform like this as well. But if you notice, all of these are fairly weightless. They don't have a lot of heaviness to them. They don't want to weigh you down. Remember, you also too. Remember, you're going to get. You're gonna get. You're gonna be dancing. You're gonna get hugged. You're gonna get clenched. You're gonna get kissed, smooshed, embraced. You know. So you need stuff that's going to be secure on you, and also sure. stuff that's going to be too heavy because it's going to wind up on the floor. Now, that's what, what I mean about those, that, 
that's that's what I love about those earrings because they because of the backing on them they will never they they're not going to wind up hitting the dance floor as basically as Ann Edna comes to grab you to do the horror or whatever it is. Let's, let's, see, let's see the um let's see the free form the last earring you showed me. Oh, sure. Now does that have a fish hook or how does that close in the back? It's a lever, it's a lever back. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. So that's going to stay on with ample. Oh yeah, no, they're staying on. Again. Okay. It, great. The thing, you, know, you don't want to wear something that's basically dependent just on a simple backing at a wedding. That's tr way too dangerous. You know this, especially if your hair is down. People get, you know, it's going to get caught in your veil. It's going to get caught on other people. You got to be. You don't want to lose something that precious at a wedding. Absolutely. That's great. So, um, what pieces are popular items for the bridal party in terms of gifting? I mean, I think some of the bangles that we showed you. I, I think for 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 women or for men, a, a simple a, a simple bangle is great. I think you got to be very. Earrings are something that I think are much more specific to an individual, you know. And I think what it, what a great thing for a piece of jewelry. I think a bangle is a great choice for your for your for your bridesmaids or even for your groomsmen, simply because it's something that it's easy to go on the wrist. It can combine with other people. It's something that people can wear every day. It can combine with the other the other pieces that they have, without it being like I said, without it being too specific to one's personality. That's great. So when it comes to caring for these specific pieces or any you know any products or any of the jewelry in the perfect match line um, what is important to keep in mind um, in terms of caring for the here's the great them? here's the great thing about jewelry is that it doesn't require all that much care okay? really I know you see tons of creams and crap all over all over the marketplace for, for jewelry cleaners and stuff honestly Windex will clean your jewelry you've got to be kidding Windex and, it's, sim it's and, as simple as Windex it's anything that's ammonia based Anything that's ammonia based is going to clean it. You know, some people use toothpaste and all that other kind of stuff. The thing is, anything that's ammonia based has a tiny abrasion. Be very careful, however, with some of for if you're going to buy. This is not for for wedding jewelry, but for other times for silver based jewelry when they have those at those sort of acetic dips. That can kind of wear. It can wear the metal. I, I'm not in favor of those things. But other than that, honestly. Really simple care. Soapy water. Diamonds don't need a lot of a lot of attention from you. And that's what wow, makes this special. So, what is the best way to store our Gabriel and Company jewelry? I don't think you should be storing it. I think you should be wearing it. <laughs> well, yeah, you, but you can't wear it all at once. You're not going to take your engagement ring off. Basically, you store you store Gabriel and jewelry in, in a Gabriel and jewelry box. There you go. All right, that's there the we best go. Place to put it. So, how where can we purchase these pieces right now? If you go online at gabrielny.com, you will see in your area there are one of 1,500 jewelers around the country that sell Gabriel and Company. It's 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 our 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 span is enormous. So you are never that far away from any jeweler who who sells these unique pieces. So I understand that there is a mobile application for Perfect Match. Can you tell us about the Perfect Match app? If you go to Gabriel and Y, and then you go to Perfect, you'll see the, the prompt for Perfect Match. You can find it, and then literally you can play with this thing to your heart's content. Oh, that's wonderful! But All I right. have to tell you, it's a lot more fun. It's a lot more fun to go into the store and do it live. Yeah, well, I'm sure it is. <laughs> All right. So, where can we catch up with Gabriel and Company online? Okay, GabrielNY.com. Wonderful. G -A -B -R -I -E -L, the small n, small y. dot com. Sounds great. All right, Hal. Thanks so much for joining us. It's been great having you on the show. You have a great holiday. All right. Catch up with me on my blog, www.beautybeautyreport.com, and on Twitter, at Beauty Publicist. Everyone, thanks so much for joining us on Ultimate Skin Care and Beauty Report. Have a beautiful and successful week. Mwah.